Hey guys, today is September 28th, 2021. So, kind of do a square body update, because I'm sure you guys have been wondering why I haven't put a video up in like a month or however long it's even been, because I don't even know. Well, number one is I've been busy working. Number two is I come home and work on as much as I can. And I have other shit to work on, so I mean, that's the reason why. And I'm waiting on, no, we'll go back to that. So, um, I did decide on a paint color, and most of you guys are going to be like, why would you paint it with tractor paint? But it's getting painted Kubota orange because, uh, I just used spray paint just as a test to see what it would look like with the black stripe. And it actually looks pretty damn good, but this is the Kubota orange. This is black, this is the black it was on, but you can kind of make it out. But, it's shiny there, kind of dull here, but clear can fix that. I didn't even clear this, that's the good thing about it. I didn't even clear it, it's shiny. That's literally, I didn't even clear it, that's the good thing, so. I'm busy sand, I did sand the bedside, sanded the door, but I still have like a continuous amount of work to do yet. I don't remember though if it was on jack stands or not, but all new brakes, front and rear, Front dry shaft, or the front universals for the axles, those are done. Dry shaft universals and shit yet. I haven't done yet. The frame needs work yet. Floor pans need put in. Um, what else? There's a couple pieces that need welded, or a couple patch pieces in the cab that need done, but... For the most part, that's really about all. Other than paint and put the mirrors on, and that's really the only final thing to do. But, um, the engine's good. Uh, the only other thing we have to do is, oh, we have to hook up, like, the small shit, like, oil pressure gauge, and I gotta put the, I gotta put a new bed in, or a new bed floor, which I'll paint out perfect, because I gotta work on the frame anyhow, so. Um, so I had to cut the floor pan out, and as you can tell, Rot is not a very good thing here in PA, because most of your freaking vehicles look like that. So, the inside of the cab's completely gutted, basically. Carpet's out, seat's out. Um, because we're going to put floor pans in. Um, we got to do a little more welding at right there where the accelerator is and about where the brake pedal is, somewhere around there. I got a patch right here, same with on the other side, right over there, somewhere. Got to patch this little piece here yet. Um, what else do I have to do? I got to do, um, yeah, besides put mirrors in. I got to take these this panel back off on this side yet. That one left off because we were trying to fix the window. And I was trying, we're going to take the handles off so we can take all the hardware off. Like the, the key piece right here and the handle enough to sand it and um pump the rpm gauge up and we gotta figure out why it's idling at like three grand too i don't know why it's idling at three grand and i've not figured it out so i'm good that kind of fell off maybe it'll get back on maybe not probably not but um no oh, i gotta do an inner fender yet too on the passenger side driver's side inner fenders good i did undercoat a little bit of the frame right there you kind of see it same with over here i kind of undercoated it too but i gotta do the frame i gotta do the inner fender here yet um i gotta put uh the, inter the inner fenders right there back there somewhere half of my truck is in the bed right now i gotta I'm gonna, I took the visor off so we could prep it for paint, which is probably gonna be a long time from now. But, um, there's the floor pans, the mirrors, both passenger and driver's side pan, um, pans, so. There's my speaker. Basically, my interior is sitting in my bed right now, along with other miscellaneous crap like oil. Um,. I still gotta sand. I still gotta do the other side. Uh, I still gotta do the other fender yet. A little bit of the hood. 
I gotta do this whole side sanding yet. I gotta do underneath here on that side too, on the lower part, below the body line because it's all covered in mud and I gotta wash it off. I just haven't had time to. But um, all new brakes on this side, same with that. Unit front universals are done on the axle part. So really the only left to do is just do the inner fender, floor pans, frame, and maybe dry shaft universals and fix the exhaust. And that's really about all. Then it'd be at the final stretch because it's pretty damn close. I just gotta get the, the floor pans and this frame are gonna be the biggest part of it. Everything else is small stuff. That you could work out little by little, but... I also gotta hook the oil pressure gauge up because my oil pressure gauge don't work, so... Um, what else do I have to hook up? A fuel gauge if that one doesn't work, because I don't even know if the fuel gauge works. I haven't had enough gas in it yet to find out. So, I'm not even sure how much gas is in it, so... Um... That's basically where the square body update is. I'm sure some of you guys have been wondering why they put any more videos on about the square body, but that's where it's at. So, um, I got to, I got to take this bumper off too. I got a bumper over there somewhere. It's right there for it. And a hitch right over there that I got to, that I got to put on. Cause this thing is going to the truck poles next year. Probably not a good idea, but it's gone anyhow. Probably won't pull where the shit, but it'll pull eventually. It's either going to pull or it's just not going to pull at all. I mean, there's two options there. It's all you have. It doesn't have enough power to break anything, so. Um, but that's all for this video, so. That's it for this um, square body update, but. I got to take all that crap off yet, too, of even... A bunch of stuff I've take off the perfect for paint, but sanding it is the most that I've gotten done. But um, if you guys are looking for a good air sander, I recommend these from Harbor Freight. And I know Harbor Freight, probably not the best, but it works. So just a tour review on that. So um, that's it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one.